Hey friends, Paul here from Cool and Quiet. Lately, I've been going into further depth on air conditioning coolant refrigerants. Now in the background here, I've got the LG with R32, which is a step up as far as global warming potential over R410A. However, as mentioned in a previous video, I'm knowing that even with this new unit that's larger than my previous Freon cooled unit, both, and I had a R410A unit briefly before I returned it. Um, comparing R410A and R32, these do not crank out the icy cold quite on the level of R22 Freon. They're not, it's not bad. The R32 actually feels pretty good, but it's not quite that icy blast. And I was doing some research about the global warming potential ozone depletion, etc., And the real pitfall of R22 Freon wasn't so much the global warming potential, although it wasn't great. It's the ozone depletion. Now recently, um, from what I've read, the ozone layer has made some repair um, due to regulation through the past uh, couple decades. But, you know, phasing out Freon is generally a good idea. But my argument is if you've got a Freon-based R22 air conditioning system or window AC and it's working great and you don't have any mold in it. Now, that's a big concession there. You can't have any black or green mold. It'll get you sick, you and your family sick. But if your unit is in good shape, there's no mold, I would just hang on to the R22 because especially in comparison to the R410A, which is in most, which you're gonna find in most window units today, the global warming potential of R22 based on this rating system is um, 1810 as a number, 1810. The global warming potential of R410A is 2088. So although the ozone depletion of R22 is on a medium rating, the 410A is nil. There's hardly any ozone depletion with 410A or R32. Both are good for maintaining the ozone layer. But I'm talking about buying a new unit just to get into a 410A. I don't think it's worth it if you've got an R22 Freon-based unit. And I've been getting comments on my previous videos that indeed others are also noticing that the R22 Freon, those ancient units, if they're in good shape, blast out colder, icier air than these modern refrigerants. Now, where we really need to go, um, now as far as moving forward from these hydrofluorocarbons that are not using any uh, chlorides, the, the, uh, the problem with the R22 as far as ozone depletion is that it's a hydrochlorofluorocarbon. It's using chlorides. These new ones are using fluorides, the hydrofluorocarbons. Where we really need to go is to the direction of the hydrocarbon coolants like R290 or propane or the R600A isobutane. That's right. We can cool very efficiently using propane and isobutane. Also ammonia. That's right. Ammonia is used in commercial refrigerant applications. Why isn't ammonia, propane, or isobutane being implemented in these window AC units? It's entirely possible. Sure, they all have pitfalls. Ammonia is a very poisonous gas in a concentrated level, and everybody knows that propane and isobutane are highly flammable. Well, R32 is also flammable. Getting into R290, but, uh, propane or R600A isobutane, that global warming potential number for both of those is three with no ozone deple uh, depletion potential. And they cool better than any of these modern refrigerants that are out. And the gases are widely available. They're cost effective. Guys, are you in the HVAC industry? Why aren't propane, isobutane, and ammonia being implemented in our consumer air conditioned products. Why are they just rele re relegated to the commercial industry? Let's get going, let's get them in here. They're efficient, they're environmentally safe. 
They're in great supply. They're affordable. If my argument, this may sound heretical or controversial, but if you've got a Freon-based R22 unit and it's in good shape, don't waste your time monkeying around with these modern refrigerants until the industry catches up to implementing the hydrocarbon. Please post your comments below. If you know someone who is in the HVAC industry and can weigh in on this, please forward them this video. It really helped my channel out a lot, as well as you all as we share information and stay cool.